Would I might wake St. Francis in you all, brother of birds and trees, God's troubadour, blinded with weeping for the sad and poor, our wealth undone, all strict Franciscan men. Come, let us chant the canticle again of Mother Earth and the enduring sun. God, make each soul the lonely leper's slave. God, make us saints and brave. Vachel Lindsay, an American poet from the early 20th century, wrote that poem in honor of Francis of Assisi, whose feast the church celebrates today. At St. Anne's and St. Mary's, we celebrated Francis on Sunday with the blessing of the animals. And that's a lovely tradition, one of my favorite days of the church year when it's my job to pet dogs. I love it. But we have to remember Francis as more than just the patron saint of, pe of pets. Francis gave up everything in his quest to follow Jesus. He took on poverty and found relationship with all of creation, with brother sun and sister moon, as he called them. But he especially found kinship with those creatures who are most contingent, most reliant on God and other beings for their survival, with the little sparrows who seem so fragile, and with the poor and neglected humans around him who needed help just to survive. Our poet today reminds us of this when he prays, God, make each soul the lonely leper's slave. That is, make us the servants of those who need us most, especially those whom society rejects. For the last few weeks, with Christians around the world, we've celebrated a season of creation. We ended this season today on the Feast of St. Francis, October 4th. In this season, we've prayed some prayers together. We've worshiped outdoors together. We've tried to see God in the beautiful, strange diversity of God's creation. We don't end the season totally changed, of course. But my hope and the hope of those who invite us into this season is that Christians around the world can be nudged each year, renewed each year in our commitment, which goes to the very core of our faith our commitment to care for the world God has given to us, to be stewards of the world God has given to us. And part of this has to be, has to be a commitment to care for the least of these, to care for those creatures of our God and King who need us most, to see creation care, not just as remembering to recycle as good as that is, but remembering to support systems of justice and equity which allow all God's creatures to flourish, to let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Francis can lead us if we will let him, can lead us into remembering that every breath we take is a glorious gift of grace from God our Creator. Francis can help us remember that each of God's creatures is as loved as we are, can, can lead us into a kinship, a brotherhood, a sisterhood, a kinship with all God has made. Let us follow Francis. I'll close this season with a prayer attributed to St. Francis, which I'm sure you know well. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.